Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing great. Here we are with another episode of C Sharp tutorial. In this episode, we're going to learn other um, tools in Windows Form applications, um, like a message box and um, timer and also progress bar. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to subscribe it. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. Let's begin. Okay, first of all, I want to uh, show you how message box work and what um, benefits and what uses of message box are. Um, first, I want to uh, use a button here. I uh, introduced button last session. Here we have a button and I want to uh, call its click event here. Let's change the name of the button like um, btn underline one this is my button and uh, i want to uh, use its click event so i double click on that and here i can write um, whatever i want and when i click the button this function will be executed when i click on this um, button i want a, a message to be appeared on the screen let's see how it works message box dot show i want to show a message box and to tell me um you clicked a button okay and i can uh, set a caption for it you see message box has 21 overloads and if i the first string that i wrote as you see here string this is the text of the message box and the, the second one is the caption of the message box. For example, I say a reminder Now I run the program Here we have a button and I click on the button and this message box appeared. This is the text and this is the um, caption. So I can also add a button on the uh, message box. I just need to um, write um, message box buttons dot. There are some buttons I can use yes and no, yes and no and cancel, or okay can and cancel. And these are all the buttons that I can use. I use yes and no, for example, and I run the program again. and. I click it and you see here we have two buttons yes and no okay and I when I click on no that uh, message box um, disappeared okay let's see when I click on yes and again it disappeared and I didn't um, actually handle those events when I click on yes nothing happened it just disappeared I want something to happen okay what can I do I can do like this for example I I have to store the value of um the message box that it returns for example when i click on yes yes return okay so i have to store that yes or the no to be able to use them in my program okay the format of the value that this message box return is um, dialogue i write dialogue results and I, I assign a name for example um answer let's change to result okay and i store the result in dialogue results okay so and i have to now use if to check what the what is inside the results let's have an if here and i write result and i check if result equals to dialogue result dot yes which means that i clicked on yes and else means that i clicked on no if i click on yes i want this message to be represented uh, i wrote message box for example or i can change the text of the button for example uh, btm write my the name of the button btn one dot text i want to change this text to for example, uh, yes, clicked. 
And I can uh, also, for example, change its text to um, no clicked. Now I can run the program. Okay, I click on button and I have two options. I can click on yes or no. I click on yes and as you see the text on the, the text of the button changed and I can also click on no so it also changed. When I click on no, this line will this line is executed. When I click on yes, this line is executed. Message box is used uh, frequently and we always use message boxes and I, I believe you have seen message boxes in various programs on various uh, platforms okay and also you can use other overload of uh, message box show and for example i can use i can set an icon for this message box for example i wrote i write a uh, message box dot button dot uh, no message box dot message box icon i want to use icon message box uh, icon dot there are some icons for example uh, I, if you uh, catch an error you can use error let's see how error works if I click on button you see error icon is here you can you can also uh, check other overload of this uh, message box to see um, various uh, functions of this uh, Class. Well, the next tool that I want to uh, introduce is timer. Let's see how timer works. Timer also is used frequently. Let's bring timer here. Okay. If you click on timer, it has just one event. And this is tick. I will show you what it is and the, the functions. It has interval. It is the amount of time that it waits until uh, that event happens. In, it has enabled you can enable it or disable it and it also has a name like other elements and I told you last session each element has its own name to be uh, actually identified by the program and also modifier I will tell you about modifiers later well let's use it for example uh, I want to uh, set our timer whenever I click on button this timer start uh, counting and after one uh, for example uh, second uh, change the color of the uh, button the background of the button okay let's uh, change it to this is as you see the frequency of elapsed event in milliseconds okay so I write 1000 millisecond which is one second and it is disabled as you see enable is false so it is disabled and I go to and when I press this button I go to this function I want that timer timer one which is the name of the timer dot enabled I want to change it to uh, yes so or yes uh, I have to sorry change it to true here and the enable it is enabled when I click on this uh, button and um, for the event of that we, I have to write some code in this function and whenever that uh, one second is actually uh, happened for example when I click on the, on the button and a second later this function is executed so I want to change the color of the button so I have to write the code which is related to changing the color right here I write uh, btn one dot uh, color back color equals to color dot um, black okay let's see okay when I click on it on this and after one second it is black okay this is the use of timer there are also other uses of timer I will show you in a minute when I want to use progress bar let's bring another button here is another button
this is the second button I want to change the name okay and the text um, this is finish and I change it to start okay let's bring progress bar okay here is our progress bar you can change its size you can see its property like anchor uh, dock enabled four color these are the properties that we uh, checked last uh, episode and also visibility so now some uh, new and um, important properties of progress bar uh, the first one uh, is actually the value of the progress bar the value of progress bar is the uh, amount of the progress bar which is passed in uh, actually each second okay I want to uh, here you see the maximum this is the maximum uh, actually of this progress bar as you see here the upper bound of the range this progress bar is working with for example I want to change it to uh, 1000 or whatever you would desire I just leave it 100 and I can change the value for example I change it to 50 this is the current value of progress bar if I change it to 50 you see the actually half of the progress bar is passed okay now I want to uh, write a program that when I click on this button this progress bar starts actually working and when I click on finish it stops working okay so I have to write something on the event of on the click event of this button and then on the click event of this button okay let's see we have here progress bar 2 I write it let's leave it progress bar 2 and uh, let's go to our program here when I click on the button this will appear and here I start uh, timer.enable because uh, I want to, to uh, after each after each second this progress bar uh, progress uh, actually just 20 out of 100 I'll show you how it works let's see I enable timer and whenever one second arrive this function will be executed and I change the value of the progress bar progress bar dot um, value I change it to the current value progress bar dot value plus 20 and each time each one second 20 will be uh, actually added to the current value of progress bar and if I for example uh, click on finish here I want to uh, disable the timer so that this function will not be executed and the progress bar will not uh, proceed anymore timer um, one that uh, enabled equals to false so let's see okay the initiate amount of progress bar is uh, 50 we set it and I click start you see after each second it progress okay at the end we will have an exception why this exception happened because um, I added 20 each time to the uh, value of progress bar and at the end it exceeded 100 and I have to handle this so I have to write here before this line I have to use if I have to check the, the current value of progress bar value if it is less than 100 less or equals to 100 this actually um, let's see if it is and less than equals or less than uh, if it is less than 100 this uh, can happen okay this uh, code can be executed or and if it is 100 or more this code cannot be executed because when it is 
100 if we add 20 to 100 it will be 120 which is invalid so we have to we should not use equal to 100 we just need to use less than 100 and if we use this and uh, let's uh, set the initial amount to um, zero initial value of this progress bar to zero to be able to track it down and see what happens okay now everything is smooth okay I click on start and progress bar, progress bar start progressing and I click on finish and it is stopped okay and if I click on start again it will start until the end so not exception happened nothing happened and it reached the end of itself okay I close this and you can also um, write a condition if it is for example equals to 100 let's see else uh, else if you can write um, if this uh, progress bar equals 100 that value equals to 100 you can write another code for example you can change the progress value to 0 and it will continue to progress from beginning if I start each second 20 is added to the value and if it reaches, reaches the end it go it start from beginning because of this line okay guys this is the end of this session i hope you find it useful if you haven't subscribed the channel don't forget to subscribe it and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it bye for now